G'day, in today's video I'm opening up a Ollie branded laptop. This particular one has the model number ML130. So I'm really not expecting to find too much in here that would be upgradable or replaceable. It does have these fancy looking screws but they are just Phillips head and nothing special at all. And the front ones do well, that particular one did look smaller than the other ones. The screws themselves don't want to quite come out. That is a tad disappointing. But for what's a, essentially a disposable laptop, it doesn't really surprise me. Um, uh, the reason for opening this is just purely to disconnect the battery, as it's ignoring the power button right now. So I'm hoping to get in there to be able to disconnect that battery. So this bit must have to come out too, with an odd little panel. There may be a Wi-Fi card. No, it's a serial Wi-Fi card. We have one M.2 there, which is probably the most expensive part of this machine, which I did not expect to see that. So we have a team group M.2. What size are we? 1120, no, I'm not sure the, the unit of measurement on that one. As we can see, looking at the rest of it, we have one audio jack that looks to be replaceable, a daughter board, it's a very laughable cooler. Here we have the charger port, which peel this tape up. What do we see? We are part of the main board. So if you, do need, if you do get a damaged charger port, you will have to remove the main board to get there. You can see the onboard mounted wireless antenna up here, a wireless card. I'll get this bit up here. Get that screw out while I'm here. What do we see? We see our various connectors along here. Battery, keyboard, I'm assuming that's possibly a trackpad. Did you say that mentioned finger, finger? So I'm assuming they might have come with an optional fingerprint scanner on the chassis. Now I'm just going to disconnect the battery. Like so. And then I'll reconnect it by pushing it back up. Now I want to save this power on for me. Okay, so for some reason that was not displaying, nor was Windows loading. But, as you can see, we're now loading up. Granted, drivers for this particular model are a bloody pain. As it does seem to use a lot of serial conversion kind of devices. So sound is done via a serial adapter of one variety. Same with, I believe, network, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So you've got to find all these janky as drivers to be able to install it. So it rates pretty low on my list of machines. Granted, I'm surprised it's actually using a, I think it's using a Celeron in this one. I thought it would almost be using like a MediaTek chip in here. But not at that level just yet. So I'll get this back together. So at least one positive side is if it does die, you'll be able to take out your 128 gig team group, which is actually not bad brand. I've seen them in the past. NVMe, or oh. say NVMe, nah. Uh, I'm not actually sure what variety. That is the Ollie ML130. My 